Hello, Isabel Hall, broker of McMillan Realty in San Diego, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about selling a property that's occupied by a tenant. How a seller handles the tenant is key to the successful sale of a rental property. First, you have two choices as a seller. Do you bark at the property after it's vacant or with the tenant still occupying? The easiest way, of course, is to have the property vacant. In order to do that as a seller, you will want to make certain that you abide by landlord-tenant law as you issue the notice to vacate. If you have a lease in place, you're expected to honor the lease. You can, of course, negotiate yourself out of the lease with the tenant and pay them for agreeing to vacate prior to the end of the lease. You usually pay some money for that and get it in writing. If you have a month-to-month -month lease in place, be aware that issuing a 30-day notice may not be appropriate. There are new laws in place that may require you to issue a 60-day notice to vacate. A great website for further information on that is the California Department of Consumer Affairs at dca.ca.gov. You go to Publications, then click on the Landlord Book, and then click on Moving Out for the current law. If you choose to have the tenant remain in the property during the marking period, then you need to make a special arrangement with the tenant. The tenant needs to agree in writing to a lockbox if you're going to have a lockbox put on the property. In addition, the tenant has notification rights related to entry. You will want to have that clearly understood in writing between the landlord and the tenant. Sometimes the tenant will agree to no notice, just show the property if the landlord lowers the rent. The last thing to consider is, does the tenant move out if they stayed in the property until it's sold? How do you handle it? One suggestion is to arrange in writing with the tenant to waive the last month's rent if the tenant vacates the property within 30 days of receiving a notice to move. If that's the agreement, then the landlord would want to ask for a longer escrow, 30, I mean 60 to 75 days, not 30 days. Issue the notice to vacate once the buyer has unconditional loan approval and then close after the tenant has moved out. This would allow the owner to collect rent until they have a buyer with full loan approval. So I hope that sheds some light on how to sell a tenant-occupied house. Thank you very much. Isabel Hall, McMillan Realty in San Diego. Until next time.